<laughs> Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Masquerada Songs and Shadows. And our army got a little bit bigger in the last episode, guys. We had the Malacarde join the ranks, um, albeit reluctantly on both sides. And we have a cunning plan to attack the White Spire and take out Lucia. So before we do that, let's go ahead and check out the case notes and search the camp a bit. And day five. Looking back on the entries, it seems these notes have been more journal than anything else. Though I'm not apologizing. It's done me good, putting my thoughts into this. And now here I stand at the end of it all. The pieces have mostly been put together. We understand a little bit of who the lady was now. A form shifter, which explains her pre er, uh, preternatural senses. And we understand why Raz was looking into creating Fae. We've made more progress learning about our world this past week than we have over the past 400 years, only to realize just how much we still don't know. Who is Briag, and is he, among other gods, truly alive? Who is the lady exactly? And who was the Fae that was communicating with Razatov? Is another cataclysm coming, and if so, how are we going to stop it? The answers to those questions seem distant, especially in the face of tonight's plans. I shan't worry about them, however, for there are other things more worthy of my attention. Other moments that deserve to be treasured more than this worry. I do not expect to write anything else within these pages. Normally the thought would bring me a sense of grief, but scribbling these words now I feel only relief and gratitude. This investigation has turned out to be so much more than a quest for answers. It's been a journey, and it's been a healing of a sort. Strange, isn't it, how I choose to label it such, just as I face the prospect of losing everything. But yet, despite what lies ahead, and despite the pain that I have experienced, I am thankful for the comfort that it's brought me. For years I've struggled with the guilt of abandoning my brother, a decision that was made because I was a coward and I lacked the strength to stand with him. And finally, for the first time since I left the city, that weight has been lifted. I can't explain why or what it is that's taken the pain of the past away. Perhaps it's the prospect of death. Perhaps it's a culmination of, or culmination of all that I've experienced over the past few days. Perhaps it is my brother, in some afternut life, looking down at me and forgiving me for what I'd done. Perhaps it's all of these things, and perhaps it's none. I'm not entirely sure the reason matters, only that is how I now feel. Whatever the outcome of the battle tonight, I go into it with an unburdened heart, and know that if I should perish, it could be in no better state than this. Wow. Quickly! I'm almost done! Well, hurry up! We don't have all day! There. Finished. Finished what? Sir! Uh, sir! What are you two doing? Oh, uh, well... After all this time, you still think you can hide secrets from me? It's all right, brother. I think it's ready. Ah, uh, if you say so. It's uh, got all the original inscriptions as well, sir. Uh, and then some. By the ages. This is beautiful. You... you think so, sir? In all my life, I've never seen either Artigiani or Fabra capable of such craftsmanship. This is a gem. I'm so glad you like it, sir. We picked up these patterns this morning from a... Well, we picked them up this morning. Thank you. Both of you. No, sir. Thank you. I don't think you can quite comprehend how much you've changed our lives. The man we brought around in our coach before you... He threatened to cut off our limbs and feed us to the Fae. Almost made good on it, too. Sir... We know we're just Contadani coach hands, but the way you've treated us... In the past few days, we've felt like real people, sir. Because you are. What'd we get? Oh, here's the entry on the Toth twins. Hmm. Did we get, like, another mask or something? I don't know. 
Oh, we did get some new stuff though. We got uh, gain 15 attack speed for three seconds. And the final inscription is 5% damage, but a 40% proc rate. Yowza. So, let's do... I still like the 3% HP. So we'll go with that. On our damage dealers. And you guys will get the proc chance for our tanky tanks. Looks good. Now let's keep on searching. Ooh. No rest for the bright, I see. Not with all that's happened, no. Shouldn't someone other than a marshal be doing such a... What are you doing exactly? I'm penning down the bright chorus. All of it? Every verse. And you're right. It's not the job of a marshal. It's that of a magistrate. Magistrate? As of an hour ago, yes. Fabio condones this? He's the one that promoted me, in fact. And the one that's given me the honor of enduring these wrist cramps. Quite a change in tune. Quite. After the assemblier, he had some time to think about things. He wants to turn the guild around. Bring it back to its roots. And that's something he wants to do now? We're not committing all of our forces. There'll be a few courts that'll keep its people. After I'm done with this, I'll send it back to them. So, no matter how tonight turns out, the true heart of the Luca Infinita will still beat. Your father will be proud. Strange, isn't it? I never felt like I did his memory any justice until I defied the biggest thing he'd left behind. His guild. <laughs> did I miss something? How do you do it, Cicero? What? Look around us. Armies have gathered at your command. In a matter of hours, they'll go to war. They'll fight for you. Because they have to. Their leaders have decreed it so. It's more than that. To command a mind is one thing, but to command a heart as well. There's been talk going around. Oh? About what you've done over the last few days. The past you've had to overcome. People are taking your story to heart. It fuels them. I can't say I did very much in that case. And yet, it's more than enough. You... Really think I inspire? <laughs> oh, Cicero. What? Have you not turned around and looked at those who follow you? The Mariner has learned acceptance. The Bloodling chose sacrifice. The Mask Runner has lowered her walls. And the Marshal... She listens to her heart again. If you look at those who keep your company and still cannot see, then, as I did when we first met, Allow me to make something clear to you. You are a leader. And you always will be. Thank you. Bright Chorus. <clears throat> oh, we got Tiziana's final entry. Okay. Well, we are definitely seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Ooh! Very nice. The Randagia. I probably butchered that. I apologize. But is that it? Have we run out of things to learn and people to talk to? I guess so. Nowhere to go but into battle. Oh, we could go out <laughs> outside the walls. My bad. Ooh.
going on and on about how they kept losing their crescents, and all I could think was fi fi fi. Hang on, I'll be back. Oh, catching up with old friends. There you are. I was hoping to catch you. Don't let me keep you from them. You look like you're getting comfortable again. What can I say? Family is family. Come on, I have something to show you. Someone's been hard at work? Of course. Have you seen the number of questions this investigation has raised? I mean, sure, we are going to war with a madwoman who can create masquerines, but the bigger picture. A hypothesis on the future of masquerines and Fay. A proposition on what the Dementicote called a god. Breog. Who is he? What is he? Uh, Amadea. An extrapolation of the timeline of how quickly we can create masquerines. Uh, hey. What? For a historian, you're thinking quite a bit about the future. And why shouldn't I? Amadea. I'm serious. These are important questions, Cicero. Questions that we'll need to figure out once this is over. We? What? You thought you could get away so easily. You were the one that roped me into this investigation. In case you've forgotten. You're not dropping out so simply. Then I'll have a choice in the matter. I don't want us to be under any delusions, Amadea. I'm not. We might not make it out. I know that. I was a mask on a Cicero. I spent my childhood not knowing if I'd see the sun of tomorrow. But does that make it wrong to hope? To think about the future? To believe that we will have one? You once asked me why I decided to follow you. And you never gave me an answer. It's because I believed that following you might somehow have been the key to a brighter future. I'm still holding on to that. Please, don't ask me to let go. Then, I look forward to hearing your theories, once all this is done. Yes, once all this is done. Those who came before. Man, everyone better survive through all of this. There's Amadea's final entry. There you go, lore hunters. Now, what do we got over here? Wow, this is a huge camp. Yeah, we do get to talk to everyone. The Midnight Belt. Oh, was that our final... That was our final location, guys. Oh, sorry, I didn't even look at that. Okay. <laughs> I was really wanting to talk to Vasco. Come on up, Cicero. The view is fantastic here. I see nothing but the Midnight Belt. Ah, yes. The mere sight of m mortals. And you can see more through that cloth? Oh, no. Not through it. Because of it. See, one thing about having s s salted is that I see quite a bit more than the rest of you. And these colors fill my vision even when my eyes are closed. And they are beautiful, aren't they, Ole? Pity you can't see them. <laughs> it has been quite a journey, hasn't it? To say the least. Do you regret it? Let's see. I lost my decades-long anonymity that I have li literally killed to preserve. I salted and crippled my tongue, but I also found an old, very much missed friend. You decide whether or not I regret it. <laughs> the Crown and I just had a meeting. And? The knife is my duty to bear later. Against Lucia? While the Seymour buy me time. Well, finally. The crown shows a sliver of intelligence. You're not upset? 
upset. Ages, Cicero. What are you saying? This is g g glorious. Now I can be part of the story after we defeat her together. Imagine. The songstresses of the future will tell the tale of how the handsome, witty, charming Vasco Tessitore and his sidekick, well, ally, inspiratory gaffer or something, defeated the most heinous of all villains in Umber with nary a scratch. It'll be beautiful. But... And don't even think of telling me not to go. There is far too much fame at stake for me not to. I... I won't. <laughs> Good. Good. Smooth talker. Well, there's Vasco's last one. I'm getting just... I have a bad feeling about this. I don't want the crew to die off. That will make me the saddest of pandas. So I assume Calden is over here on the other side. Judging from... Yes, indeed. And I don't think there was anything... over here. No, that fence blocked it off. Now, Calden was our first companion. We've been through a lot together. Then he took the Fae by its fangs and said, You will harm no one ever again. And he breathed fire onto it. Are you sure it's wise for the children to be here? Vince said she saw all the armies marching through the streets and knew something was wrong. She wanted to bring them here to see me in case... Well, here they are. Olana seems to be well. I don't think she's fully comfortable with the idea that her brother was different, or even that I am. But she is making an effort, and that is more than I can ask for. Well, her children are taking well to her, I see. She reminds them of Jaxus. She tells stories with the same passion. I don't know if my life will ever be the way it was when he was around. But for now, I think this is more than enough. All the more to lose, then. Cicero, what is it? We've lost the Altus, Calden. Sure, we might have the Melicate, but... You think I would choose not to follow you? I wouldn't blame you if you did, seeing as how you now have so much to lose. Cicero. Tides, you don't understand, do you? It is because I now have what you see that I'm not going to turn away. I owe you everything. You helped me find my brother, helped me grieve his death, helped me accept myself for who I am. I have jumped into wells for you, killed giant rock fay with you, followed you into the lair of cultists and madmen. And I will sail with you to the very end, even if those winds lead me away from the shores of life. On a mariner's moon, this I vow. Light in the mire. And here's our 15th entry for Calden. Man. We have had quite an incredible journey. And I don't know, it seems like Cicero's kind of like, Hey, you sure you don't want a happy ending? You sure? Hey, sir. Hey, Vint. I know the city's way steep in it. But... I'd wade right through it to see them all so happy. You drinking again? Celebrating, sir. One last time. Actually, you deserve it. For a job damned well done. Besides, from the look of things, I think you need this more than I do. <laughs> You're a good man, sir. I don't know if I've told you that, but you are. Aw. And Vint doesn't get a uh, journal entry. Well, we have uh, said our goodbyes, our final words to all the members of the band. Only one thing to do now. Are you ready, Cicero? There's no going back from this point on. Yowza. 
Are you sure you wish to leave Samora's throne? No. On second thought, give me a minute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and double check everything. Now, um, we missed a masquerine. That's a shame. But in terms of our codex... Let's close this all out. We're completely finished on characters. And... Now uh, we missed some magic and factions. And one thing of history. Maybe we'll get more of that back at the White Spire. Are you ready, Cicero? There's no going back from this point on. Let's do the thing. I understand. I'm ready. Then let us march. Montage. Oh, crap. Okay. Um. As much as I like Tiziana and Vasco, we've got to go with Calden and uh, Amadea. They've been here since the beginning. They are the most, I guess, invested, other than Vasco, who did salt himself. But I think these two are going to work. So. I hope we didn't just choose who died. Meanwhile... They are coming. You are silent. Do you doubt? We may have powerful masquerines, but our numbers. If we had the Barati, if, if you... Do not keep your thoughts from me, child. If you hadn't told me to leave Razatov's laboratory in the Quiet Order untouched, Cicero would have had no leads. If you hadn't told me to send fewer men to the Conoscenza, to the Cleaver, he would have stood no chance. What is your plan for him? My child. You must accept. I have followed you unfailingly, unquestioningly. Yet you refuse to show me the answers, even after everything that I have done for you. Why? My child. My poor child. Oh dear. I want an answer, not your cold comfort. Hot ink. You search for peace of mind. The answers and explanations you search for. They will not give it to you. They will only make it worse. What? What do you mean? Explain yourself! Interesting. Well, at least she didn't experience hot anger. That would have made things unpleasant for her, I would imagine. This is it. We go in. Oh, this is cool. This so reminds me of the Codex Alera. Luminary, the other guilds have all made it across. Our troops are awaiting your orders. Don't you swerve us. Tell them to drop the bridges. Oh. What? We do not board sinking ships, Jadon. That is the way of fools, not the way of our people. But they're not going to stand a chance without us, and, and if they want to cross back here, there'll only be a single bridge left. Which is why you need to find out as much as you can about this Lucia woman. It would be good to know a little bit more about our future friends. After all... If what she wants is for the city to come together, I'm certain she'll appreciate how much easier we made her job. I understand. I'll give the order now. You are officially that guy. So, I... Tiziana and Vasco. Hopefully they can hold the line. We're making good progress. Don't speak too soon. We need to help the others secure the area, then group up. We don't stand a chance disorganized. Oh! We're controlling uh, Tristan. The light will cut you down! 
Now what we got here, Ice Wall. Preventing units and projectiles from passing through. Stream Blast. Cold Stream Wash. And Blade Dance. Huh. We'll go with that. Well, that's strange. Did not expect this. I mean, it could be worse, of course. Fight our way through. I wonder what he has on in his is in, in his inventory. Oh, Biggin's here too. Okay. We're doing well. There aren't nearly as many of them here as I thought there'd be. They must be on the way. I hope so. It means our tactics working. And it means we've barely begun. You should keep going. The Cario and Subtle might need help. On it. Oh. Uh, curses. Oh, we get to see the Assassin's Guild go a little bit. Blade Dance. And there you go. Man, I'll tell you what, Bosco can just rock out that thunder. Are we still here? That's a big damage dealer in attack. I'll leave Bosco to deal with that. There we are. Now what was all that crystal nonsense? Your troops might not have had much experience in a battlefield, but they fight well. And yours fight like true soldiers. You've done well with them. Hopefully it'll be enough. Mm. Sir? What's wrong? The Dieci. Do they need help? They... they didn't make it across the bridges. What? Were they assaulted? No, sir. They... Speak up, Alencio. What happened? They turned back. What? None of them crossed the bridge, sir. I... This can't be. It is. My men reported the same thing. Then we can't turn back. Do not speak of turning back yet, Valencio. We still have work to do. Fabio was right. Knowing the numbers that we're up against, we haven't drawn out as many as we need to. But even if we do... Tristan, we prepared for this the moment we left the throne. We did. This is it, then. We go all the way. All the way. Okay, he will sit and tend to the wounded. And let's see if we get to an autosave. That would be nice. There we go. <sighs> Loud. As it should be. The more Dactites that run to him, the better. For us, you mean. Cicero, they know what they're doing. Trust them. <sighs> I know. But it's difficult, feeling so helpless. We must endure it. Brecken, are you keeping track? We'll be there soon. We're just skirting the aisle and... HOLD! By the moons! What's going on? The mask runners. They must have seen us somehow. They're firing at us from above. No! What is it? One of the bubbles! Gone! That's dozens. There's nothing we can do. Yes, there is. Oh dear. I'm freezing the water around us. 
It'll buy us some time. Until what? Mon Tristan. Oh, wow. Situation's gone from bad to worse. And in a hurry, too. Tristan! Look! Oh, that is pandemonium. The light will no. cut you down. We need to stop them. Cicero must survive this. Yes, indeed. Cicero must survive this, and we will see if he does so in the next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.